everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome back to Paws and Paper. So I'm here again with my unboxing of, this is February's Cora Crea Crafts Vintage Craft Box. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you're new to my unboxings, this is a subscription box that I purchased personally. And I do it to build up my stash and get small amount of supplies. Um, and then just get a variety of supplies. So this one here, Victorian Gothic, which I was excited about when we did January's. I'm excited to see what's in here. And so the next month will be Greek and Roman Antiquity. That sounds like a cool one too. So this one here is supposed to be Victorian Gothic. So I'm kind of excited about that. So let's get into it. And I also thought that, you know, I've been doing these unboxings for a couple months now, and I thought maybe I would start creating something with the supplies that I get in the box. Maybe that would be kind of cool, too. So, I love the tissue paper. The tissue paper is always cool. Um, I, will, I always end up using that on something else. All right, so it looks like the last time I got a velvet uh, bag like this, there was a wax seal um, stamp in it. So... I believe, yes, this is another wax seal. So let's see what this looks like. And I need to, um, this is a nice heavy uh, a wooden handle. I need to get some wax. I don't have any wax yet. Um, I've seen lots of videos too where people use like crayon to do the wax seals. I should just do that because I have tons of crayons. Um, but now I have two wax stamper seals um, thingies whatever you call those, but no wax. So yeah, I need to get on that one. I need to try wax seals. Okay, let's see what this looks like here. And these are so heavy. I mean, these are like solid metal. This is, oh, it's a cool key. Oh, and it's got like the, the portrait heads on it. Can you see that? Isn't that cool? It's got like the, uh, you know, those like those, um, they're like a solid black, like look like a shadow portrait. That's going to be really cool. I will definitely show you that when I get some some wax. I think those would be really cool. And that's heavy, guys. Those are heavy, good uh, metal wax seals. Not wax. What do you call those? Stamps? I guess you'd call them stamps. And then you get this cute little bag with it, too. Then what do we got? Oh, we got this cute... Oh, isn't that neat? Like a vintage-looking paperclip thing with a... Uh, with a lady's portrait on it. Isn't that cool? That looks really antique vintage-y. I'll have to make sure I hook that somewhere on one of my things. That's cute. And then these are all stickers. And those are cool. Those are like, um, they look like picture frames. Really intricate picture frames. Or those might be cool like a, like a book plate too or something like that. Um, yeah, those are cool on a I was going to make some tags today with the things that we that we got in this box. So we'll uh, we'll get to those in a minute. But very cool. I like that stuff so far. And then a nice wooden stamp. And this is just a, a candelabra, I believe they call this. A fancy antique looking one. We'll try that out. The stamps are really nice heavy wooden ones too. I like those. And then always some really pretty washies. This one looks like it's pretty um emeraldy colors if i can oh there we go get into it and uh these kind of look like they're individual almost you know like peel the individual stickers off and did i get it i don't think i did there we go okay hang on one second there we go okay so let's see if i can get this started and Check this out. Oh, yeah. Is this? Yeah, those are all individual. Oh, that's cool. Pretty. Oh, I already love that bow right there. Look at those colors. Oh, can you see them? They're really pretty emerald colors. I mean, pretty. And look, the bird with the keys, the bows. Okay, those are super pretty. We're definitely going to have to put those on some tags. That's cool. I like the individual, like, little pieces that you can just stick on. Super cool washi. Okay, and then another washi one here. This one looks 
Is this, no, this isn't, I thought it was like uh, postage stamps, but I don't believe it is. Let's see. And the washi so far have been really good. I really like the quality of the washi stickers. I still use, uh, usually I use like a glue stick or something behind them, but um, they are nice quality. I have no troubles getting them to peel off, you know, of the roll and they stick nicely. Oh, this is kind of gothic-y then. Okay, so we've got the lady with her owl and some cool, focus, some cool writing, mysterious lady there, um, a witchy-looking lady with her crows. Stay focused. Okay, and then this lady. Oh, there's quite a few of them. And then there's the... Vampire looking lady. Oh, she's pretty. Up oh, and then we're back to the so you get like what is that? One, two, three, four, five different ladies in there. That's cool. And then all the uh the blotchy script writing in between. I like that. That's pretty. I don't normally gothic is really not my my style, but I do like it when it's in like the like the the ladies in their dresses and stuff. That's just kind of cool to me. Um, and I like some of the dark colors. I don't necessarily go for like the blacks and stuff, but I do like the, like the emeralds and the really pretty, like here, look, the pretty dark rose and purple colors. These are just pretty card. Is this card? Yeah, these are not stickers. This is paper. So this is like a heavy card stock. You can make some really pretty pages with these. Look at those colors. Aren't they pretty? Even the picture's not bad. I mean... A little bit odd but she's still really pretty that's pretty I'm not big on the crossbones but uh definitely I could cover that up with something so you know these are just really neat colors and if you don't like I mean sometimes you're gonna get things you don't really care for that's not your style but I mean overall I've been pleasantly pleased with all this stuff and you know if I don't like like this picture here I can always put something over it so very pretty I like those colors the the really pretty pinks and stuff. I love purples. Those are cool. I like all those papers. And then we got a whole thing of the clear stamps. Oh, this is cool. I love those little script pieces. Those are super nice for like collaging. I like to have those, you know, when you just want to put a random little bit here and there, those are great to have. And I have a great big one. That's like a huge square like this, but I don't have any, you know, just a little one to grab. So that's cool. And which way can, which way's up? I believe it's this. Yeah, we're right. So this here, oh, that's cool. I like the word vintage. I could use that. And then these are just little ink blots. Those might be kind of cool. You could put a whole bunch on, you know, a stamp and ink blot over it. And then this is just a weird, like, uh, post with the dragony thing on it. Not my style, but still kind of cool. But I like all these other ones. And that's kind of like just a, like a nameplate thing. Very cool. I like those. We'll try those out. And then the last thing it looks like is some cool stickers in here and those pretty, uh, the, the pretty, like, I don't know even what you call it, dusty purple, like, I mean, and the pretty roses. I mean, the colors are super, super pretty. I like all the colors. Okay, well, let's try to make something. And then the tissue paper, obviously, is just really cool. Okay, so let's make something here so I, you guys can see how maybe you would use some of these supplies. So how about we go ahead and I am going to, maybe I'll just use one of these papers to, to make a base of a tag. Which one do I want to use? Um, I got like a template here. I could cut out a tag shape. Okay, maybe I want, let's just, let's just do that. Let's take most of this one here and we're just going to, I'm going to use my tag here as my template and I'm going to just cut it to shape and there we go. So we got a really pretty tag with a rose on it I like that. And then we've got a little extra left over here. We could definitely always use, like maybe I just want to like fussy cut out this rose. And maybe we could layer that on there too. So that might be cool. I'm uh, trying to get more dimensional with stuff. So adding layers and uh, using different items to, 
to add dimension to things. So I could definitely add another rose. Maybe we want to like just add that over here and put it over top of that one. That looks cool. And then that's almost just like an overlay of that. Let's just go with this for now. And let's see. This is a little bit slick. Maybe I'll use just my fabric tack. Let me just put that on there. And yeah, because these have like a, they have a kind of a cool texture to them. They're definitely heavy like cardstock, but they have a little bit of a, a texture to them. So let's add that on there. That's looking cute. Okay, so now we just added a little bit of dimension to our tag. And then how about we use, maybe we can use one of these ladies. Um, should we just use this first one here? So we got... I want to get some of that text in there too. Okay, so we're just going to use the lady and some text. And I'm going to get this. I'm, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue stick. I always like to add glue stick to my washi just so that it sticks down. I'm always afraid that washi is going to come off. So maybe I kind of want her somewhere by over here there we go we'll just kind of stick her there that's looking cute okay so now we got her there and we can always add in maybe a label or something like off to the side I kind of am liking the labels off to the side maybe a little bit over the rows and her we try that okay let me cut this one down add a little bit of that okay let's cut it about here I'm just gonna cut this in half almost almost in half and maybe I want to just I'm gonna brown this up just a little bit just to give it a little bit of dimension on the side and then maybe I want to maybe I want to stick a sticker on there should we stick a sticker uh, or these one of these this has that pretty, uh, let's pick something with like an emerald green color. Let's see what we can find. With a pretty green, um, we've got, ooh, we've got a cute butterfly. We've got just an emerald, like the, well, that bird? That's not a bird. There was one with a bird. Oh, there's the one with the bird. That's super big though. That's gonna come off. Okay, um, I lost, <laughs> hold still. Okay, we got some cool jewels and gems right there. It's sticking to it because of static. Let's just go with this one. I kind of like this one. And we'll, uh, this is just like a, a uh, like key. Maybe it's going to be easier to cut this so that I got, and if you can hear the boys upstairs, they're being crazy again. They were watching a movie and it's all nice and quiet, but now they're, apparently done with the movie so let's see if I can get this is where I struggle getting these things off okay is this a full sheet do you have to fussy cut is it a full sheet it must be they're not individually cut okay they are not individually cut so let's fussy cut a little bit here because I don't want all that on there so I was wrong on these they are a full sheet but definitely you could do what I'm doing here and like cut them out and use them individually because I guarantee you that's how I'm going to end up using most of these anyway. Okay, so let's get this one down first. And then because I know this is going to, this sticker is going to overhang. Just a little bit of glue stick on there to make it stick a little bit better. And let's just pop this down. Oh, I like how it's transparent. That's cool. Okay, that's cool like that and then let's get this emerald green one oh I forgot about these maybe one of these was better because these are all pink or do we want some actually I want a different color this is very very pink let's add this if I can get my sticker off here it's always the hardest part getting these stickers started Oh my goodness, if you haven't heard that in a while, that's my husband and his paws call. 
He loves to come down here and announce his presence. I haven't heard it in a while. And here comes one of the other minions. Xander, get the sticker started for me. I can't get a Can you get that sticker started? I can't. I can't do it. I. You get your little fingers in there. You have better fingernails than I do. I can't get it started at all. I'm struggling. Yeah, good luck. I know, I'm trying, but I can't get it started. Is it, one of those, is it attached to it, or do I just... I think it's it? a whole sheet. Like, it's the whole thing is on there. Just attach glue to the back of it. Just attach. Them. Just attach some clear glue to the but back of it. But you should be able to get this off. Not with these on the fingers. You nope. couldn't get that off either. Nope. Okay. Oh, there I got. I think I got it. There we go. She exceeded in every day life goals. I did. I achieved it. Nice. Thank you. So what are we doing here? We're making a tag out of this new box stuff I got. Mm. I got all these supplies on here. Okay. Now I want to stick this. Let me put a little bit of glue on it. And I want to stick it. Why would you put glue on the sticker? Because I don't know that the stickers are ever going to stick down the way I want them to. Okay, so I want to add that there. How does that look? Am I doing good? Yep. Does that look good? Considering I don't know much about art, that looks good. <laughs> art can be anything you want. That looks good. I think that yeah. looks good. I like it. Those are stamps. Okay. So I'm going to ink up this outside because... We're going to make it look old. That's what yeah, I like to do. make it look all vintage -y. That's right. I like that look. Okay. Well, I think that looks pretty cool. It does. Do you like it? Yeah. Me too. So. so how are we going to make this? That's just a tag. I'm just making a tag. I can put it in a journal later. I wanted to try out some of these stamps too. So I need to get some paper to try these stamps out on. Oh, I got my stamp set here. I well, need to get. If your name is Paul from Paper, I think you should have a lot of paper. Well, thank you. I should have a lot of paper, right? But yeah. sometimes I don't. Okay, so we got a page here. We're going to try this stamp first. So this is the candle, the big candlestick stamp. And I'm just using my stays on Timber Brown. So I'm going to dip it in here. Whoops, I try not to get it on. I'm, I'm a bad stamper. Okay, now tip it over and then push it down nice and even. Here's the thing, though. Can you really be a bad stamper? Ooh, you did good. I don't think so. That looks cool. I like that one. That looks kind of like the uh, the candlestick out of Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, What's yeah. his name? Lum Lumiere? Yes. I have no idea. You don't? Oh, you don't watch that movie, huh? No, I have not seen that in a very long time. Yeah. Remember it from when I was like five. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so let's try some of these. These look kind of cool. Maybe we can use the word, I like the word vintage. Let's put that on there. So maybe we'll put that there. And then some of these, like, these are kind of cool, these little ink blobs. Let's see what those look like. So they look like spilled ink on purpose. You gonna put some of them on there? Okay. Stick some of those randomly on there. <laughs> Just put it around, like maybe right there. ASMR moment. How is that ASMR? No. It has. I thought ASMR had to like make a sound or something. Yeah, when you peel these off, they kind of make like a little sound. Oh, they do. Or do you just like the feel of them? I like the feel of them. Okay, anyway. so maybe we should just do. How about that? Random all over. Okay, so now we've got the word vintage, and we got our little ink blobbies. Blobby. What's blobby from? I know blobby. From Pennsylvania. Blobby. It's blobby. Okay. All right. So let's try this one. This might be kind of cool are fake ink blobs. Ooh, super cool. That'd be neat that on a actually, collage. Yeah, Doesn't that, that looks, look cool? That looks really good. Yeah, I think that looks cool. So that would be a really cool one for like collaging and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like those. So I think that's all I've got for you guys today. So hopefully you enjoy these unboxings. And if you like what you see here, um, this is where I get it from, Cora Korea Crafts. And I do the this is the monthly uh, vintage craft supply box that I get. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.